Hey everybody, this is Ryan King, and in this super quick tutorial, it's not super quick, but it it's pretty quick. Hey everyone, this is Ryan King, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a super easy way to do UV unwrapping. Uh, it's really easy, and it works great for like random kind of textures, like uh, dirt textures or rock textures. If you're doing something like a wood flooring or brick, uh, that's not going to work so well. And you don't need to like mark any seams or do anything like that. Uh, your model can even have really horrible topology. This is just a super easy way that we're going to use in the node editor to UV unwrap the texture onto your model. So just tab into edit mode uh, and make sure you've unwrapped your model. Again, the topology can be horrible, like it doesn't even matter. Uh, I use this method a lot and it's super effective and easy. So add a new material, I'm in the shading tab, and you're just going to download your texture. I just downloaded a rock texture from cc0textures.com so I'm just gonna drag in the map so I got the color map I'm just gonna drop it in like that plug it in and I'm just gonna drag all the textures from my file browser and just plug them up correctly so I'm setting the normal map to non-color data I'm going to add a normal map and drop that in between there and also the roughness and I'll set the roughness to non-color data it already automatically did it and put it into the roughness. Let's press Shift A, add a mapping node, and then behind that, I'm gonna press Shift A and add a texture coordinate node. I'm going to plug the object into the vector, and then I'm gonna plug the vector into all of the vector of the textures. And then also make sure that your, uh, your model has the proper uh, scaling and everything. So I'm just gonna reset those values. So I'll just press Control A and I'll apply all transforms just to make sure nothing's like squished or like scaled really big or anything. So now you can see it's done something, but one more thing we're gonna do is on each of these textures, we're gonna change this flat to box and then we're going to change the blend value to 0.2 or another value if you want. I found that 0.2 works well, so I'm just going to do that on all three of them because they all have to be the same. And basically what this is doing is because it's using the box projection, it's taking the texture and it's sort of making a box around the model and then it's taking the texture from all sides and just like putting it onto the rock. This doesn't work well for like, you know, wood or something because it has a consistent like uh, pattern, but this works really great for like rock textures and ground textures and stuff. If you want to change the scale of it, uh, you can click and drag down to select all the values and then you can just change the scale. And there's also no seams, like you can't see any seams, it all looks really nice. So this blend value, it smooths out uh, where the seams are because there actually are seams if I just turn all these down so you can see there's a seam right there and there's kind of a seam right there so then this blend value you just set it to a value I like 0.2 you can see as you do it it's smoothing out the edges between the textures and what's super great about this is that it's adaptable so if you go and like edit this rock like let's say you want to make another rock I'll just shift D to duplicate the rock and then I'll just go into sculpting you can see that now that I'm pulling this rock out and I'm like changing it but as you can see it automatically like adapts to the rock being changed so if I, I could just make like a rock asset and just like change it and stuff and you can see as I'm pulling the rock and like sculpting it it's automatically adjusting the texture I hope this tutorial was helpful see you in a future tutorial bye